everyone. Hope you all are happy, healthy and safe. To create a happy crafting experience today, we will be making a multi-purpose pouch. Kids can store their colors, pencils and other stationary items. Same way, crafters can store their craft supplies and sky is the limit. Now it has a touch button for easy opening and closing. Now let's see what material we need to create this project. So for this project, we need two pieces of felt or any fabric of your choice that measure 25.5 cm by 9.5 cm. Same, the other color should also be 25.5 cm by 9.5 cm. I am taking the dark peach color as my front and parrot green as my back. The color that you choose for your back, you need another piece measuring 18.5 cm by 9.5 cm. Another item that you need is floss of any color. As my front is dark peach and back is parrot green, I am using a parrot green color floss to give a contrast in front, just like this. It will secure our project and also for the decorative purpose, we will use this floss. Then we need a pair of press buttons or snap buttons, a pair of scissors, some head pins, separate glue, thread to fix the snap buttons, then we need some decoratives, to be pasted on the front and the back of the pouch. We are not using glue gun in this project to make it washable, but remember not to wash it at least for 24 hours if it is required. As you can see here, first we will secure our snap buttons on the back of the project with a thread. Once it's done, we will very carefully place our pieces one over the other. And secure with some head pins so that when we will start cutting the round shape and when we will start with our floss the pieces will stay at its place. Once our head pins are attached to the piece, we will draw the curves on the edges of the pouch like this. So once it's done, we'll grab our floss and needle and we'll start securing the edges of the pouch. But before that, I would like to share one tip with you all. Sometimes we are unable to put our floss or thread through the eye of the needle. So what we can do is, we can grab a transparent cello tape, take a little piece of it. Put a floss on it and then fold it into half. Press it and then cut it slantly like this. Now it becomes very easy comparatively to put it through a needle eye. See. It's 
done now we will start with any stitch and we will secure the boundary of our project now you can use any fancy stitch that you like but I will be using a very simple stitch in this project but I want my stitches to be uniform across the pouch I am not very good at it so I will be using scale and I will start marking on the pouch in a gap of 1 cm once marking is done we will grab a needle and start from the back of the first layer like this and then we will start making our stitches after the first stitch we have to grab all the three layers like this as you can see we have secured the edges by this simple stitch and it's already looking very pretty if you want to decorate it further you can use any decorators of your choice I will be using this bunny and will put some flowers and carrots I'll show you one by one Hope you like this project. Don't forget to share your creations with me and please like, share and subscribe my channel for more videos. Happy crafting!